pigeon and three variations starting in downward facing dog take a nice deep breath looking between your hands we bring the right leg up and across the front of the mat if you can pin your foot down with your left hand and we place the right forearm across the front and rest the forehead on the forearm the left knee can slide back a bit deeper the tendency here is to drop over onto the right hip try not to fall to the side but stay up and over the top of the stretch this will allow gravity to assist you in melting deeper through your hips breathing in and out through your nose and down into your belly this is a large muscle area so breathe intensely allow the breath to support the posture as you breathe it creates a relaxation response in the nervous system helping to unwind some of the tension here this posture is a meditation melting breathing relaxing we slowly come into the second variation right hand on top of left and we work on bringing both of the elbows down to the ground while maintaining the hand position hands placed over the ball of the right foot if your left elbow doesn't touch don't worry just allow it to remain up in the air and continue breathing until you melt through stay as soft as possible especially your mind we have a third variation slowly coming back up to center right hand out front of the right knee and the left arm slides through you can come onto the forearm or drop all the way down to the shoulder eventually your left underarm will be over the right knee you can allow your head to rest deep full breaths surrendering to gravity when you're ready we take a slow release coming back onto all fours and doing several kickbacks with the right leg squeezing your right glute pumping some fresh blood lymph and energy into that right side resting in turtle elbows next to the knees and head between the hands taking a few nice deep breaths we come to the other side pressing back to downward facing dog nice deep inhale and when you're ready left leg comes up and across the front of the mat we can pin the ball of the foot down with the right hand and left forearm comes across the front resting your head on your forearm like a pillow maybe you can slide your right knee back a little bit deeper again try and stay over the top of the stretch the tendency is to fall over to the left side if you have knee pain you can always adjust the angle of your left leg or place a bolster or block or rolled up towel under your left hip Stay with your breathing. If you want to go deeper, slide your right knee back. Eventually, your right shoulder will be over the top of the left foot. Of course, you don't have to do it all at once but just so you know how to come into the full expression we come into the second variation left hand over right working on dropping the forearms or elbows out to the side our heart or chest is coming over the top of the left foot as the posture gets more intense breathe more powerfully more intensely match your breath with what you're feeling
slowly coming back up and we go into our third variation. Left hand out in front of the left knee, we slide the right forearm through. We can rest on the forearm looking over the left shoulder or we can slide all the way down onto the shoulder. Deep full breaths. Eventually right underarm will come on top of the left knee. Rich inhales and exhales in through your nose and down to your belly. Slowly coming back up to center, take your time as we release and we pump the left leg back several times, stimulating the left glute with blood, lymph and energy. We finish by coming into turtle, grounding the head between the hands, elbows next to the knees.